All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to replace the screen on this iPhone 6S Plus. All right, um, as you can see, we have a black screen, not the white frame. Um, it'll work just fine. The only difference is the color here is black instead of white. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and take this apart. We're gonna use a Pentalobe 0.8 or P2 screwdriver. And then we'll also need a PH0 or JS0 screwdriver, excuse me. All right, first thing we're going to do, if you didn't already, make sure the phone is off, all right? Then we're going to go ahead and remove the two P2 or Pentalobe 0.8 screws from the bottom. You want to keep all these screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. And if you mix them up, you can damage your phone, all right? So we'll remove these two screws. Okay, once we've done that, um, I probably should have mentioned it helps to have a very thin tool like this. We're going to get between the plastic part and the metal part of the phone. All right, just like this. And we're going to pop the screen out. There is a slight adhesive under here, so keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and actually cut through the adhesive by sliding this tool around the frame. You don't want to insert the tool too far. Along the sides, there's a frame that kind of prevents you from doing that. But along the bottom and the top, you don't have that frame. So you want to be careful not to slide the tool too far. All right, so we're gonna go along here, just like this. All right, then we're gonna go along the side here again and go ahead and cut up into here. All right, so go like that. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and try and pry this forward a little bit, as you can see, just like this. You wanna be careful because there are cables attached to the top, so you don't want to just rip the screen out quickly or you can damage it. All right, so now that we got this, we're going to slowly, carefully pull this up just like that. There we go. Next, we're going to disconnect the battery, which is underneath these two screws, this metal plate. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We're going to switch over to the PH0 or JS0 screwdriver. Okay, you can see the crack closer anyways. Let's go ahead and take these two screws out. All right, just like this and set them aside. Again, keep all the screws in order. All right, now that we've got those two screws out, we're gonna remove the metal plate here. All right, good. Set that aside as well. And now we're gonna lift up this um, connector here. This is the battery connector. Okay, I just get my fingernail under there. You can use a little plastic pry tool, but there you go. As you can see, we lift this out. Now the battery is disconnected. What we're going to do next is we're going to hold the power button for about 15 seconds. This will drain any residual power from the phone and make it a lot safer to work on. All right. So let's go ahead and hold it for a few more seconds. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. So there we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let's go ahead and now remove this metal plate that's holding all these screen connectors down. Five more screws. Okay, let's go ahead and get those. Again, keep all the screws in order. They are all different size, shape, and lengths. Okay, just like this. All right. We are going to have to remove the old adhesive. We have some replacement adhesive, though the adhesive isn't really necessary. Okay, so keep that in mind. You don't really need to put the adhesive back in, and this phone isn't really waterproof, so you don't want to get this wet anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and remove that metal plate. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead now and remove these connectors. So same thing, just get underneath. Again, you can use a plastic pry tool. You can use fingernails, whatever. I might have cut my fingernails too small, so it's going to be a little bit difficult here, but go ahead and pop these up. All right, just like this. Um, this thing is kind of stuck together with some adhesive thing here, so we're going to have to separate that. I don't know why they put adhesive over there. Okay, all right, there we go. And we're going to pop this other cable up as well, just like this. Come on. These cables are being a little difficult. Sorry if I'm going out of view. Okay, underneath and pop that up just like that. I don't know why they put this adhesive here. That's causing problems. Okay, so there we go. We got those cables out. Now we're going to lift this screen out of here. Okay, you wanna be careful. There's some adhesive. 
and there we go. So here you can see the three connections there. Now we're going to have to, you don't have to remove the adhesive from the back of the screen because we're replacing the screen, um, but we do have to remove the adhesive from the frame of the phone. All right, give me a second. I need to respond to some messages real quick and I'll be back. All right, let's go ahead and remove all this adhesive here. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and go along and peel this stuff up. Right. If the adhesive has lumps in it, it's very important that you remove it because you don't want to create um, bumps underneath where the screen will sit. Otherwise, it can cause the screen to crack from uneven pressure. All right. So we're going to slowly try and pull this up. A lot of times this adhesive um, has like cuts in it or is kind of too soft. So it just tears like that. Um, but yeah, you just want to go ahead and keep peeling this up. Okay. Can be a little bit tricky, but this is an important step. And we'll ensure that your replacement screen will last longer if you drop it or be a bit more durable. Okay. Alright, almost there. Okay, hopefully I'm getting everything recorded because it's hard to kind of see what I'm recording while I'm focusing on what I'm doing. Oops, sorry. Okay. Yeah, so some of this adhesive is kind of being a pain. Uh, there we go. All right. Got this white plasticky one at the bottom here. Okay, peel that up as well. Oh, it's just tearing. There we go. All right, cut that out. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and get these out. Okay, I know you can just fast forward if you want. Um, or if you're also peeling up your adhesive at the same time, um, chances are it's going to take you a while as well. So feel free to follow along. Okay. Come on. Okay, let's go ahead and keep peeling this stuff up. Keeps tearing. Okay, almost there. Come on, get out of there. This adhesive is kind of being stuck here. big piece here. Sorry, I'm going out of view again. Okay. There we go. Just one more little piece there. All right, I think we got it all. Okay, now we got to transfer components from the old screen to the new one. Okay, so here you go. All right, so as you can see, the old screen has this thermal stuff on it. If you want, you can transfer the whole thing over, um, but it's not really necessary. Um, I'll do it anyways, just to have that piece there. All right, so let's go ahead and start removing all the screws. We'll first remove the home button here. Okay, two screws holding this metal plate. We'll just get those two out. Okay, once you get those two screws out, you can go ahead and remove this metal plate. All right, then we can go ahead and remove this. 
All right, so the way I remove this is you pull this up slightly. Okay, so there are connectors here. Oh, it already came out. Usually I have to also hold this down to pull it out. All right, <clears throat> then you can use a needle or something to get underneath the um, controller for this here. All right, so just get underneath whatever works for you. Sometimes applying heat helps as well if the adhesive is very strong. Then we're just gonna push the home button through, okay? Just like that. You can see it's actually bringing broken pieces of glass with it. So you do wanna take those broken pieces of glass off, of course, and throw that away. <clears throat> you don't wanna leave broken pieces of glasses, glass attached, otherwise you can damage the new screen okay so there we go we got that we're gonna set that aside <clears throat> the new screen has this rubber piece we'll take that off and throw that away as well <clears throat> make sure there's no broken glass bits on this thing you don't want to get that to crack the new one <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> my throat's all getting clogged anyways let's go ahead and remove the screws holding the camera sensor in place as well Okay, all right, one there, one here. Again, keep them all in order, and a third one here. All right, now that we've got those three screws out, we can go ahead and lift this metal plate up. <clears throat> Let's actually zoom in a bit here. Okay, now you can lift the camera up, and then you can go ahead and get the speaker out from underneath, okay? So I kind of just push it up with my thumb here. Get that out. Be careful not to touch the camera lens. Set that speaker aside. All right, so now we got this out. We're gonna now go ahead and pop out this. I'm gonna use a small flathead screwdriver to do that. Oh, I'm getting a call, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so let's switch over to the, <clears throat> excuse me, small flathead screwdriver. And we're gonna use that to pop the other sensors out of the top here. Okay, can be a little bit tricky. You want to take your time here and just slowly work them out. You don't want to pull too hard. Otherwise, you can separate the sensor from the cable or the, yeah, so we're just going to go slowly. If it doesn't want to come out, we might have to apply some heat. Um, as you can see, it's kind of stuck here, so I'm probably going to have to apply some heat to this. All right. Let's go ahead and continue trying to pop it out. Huh, okay, this one came up, but this this one here is kind of stuck. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got both out, as you can see. Sorry, I know it's hard to keep it in camera. Next thing we're gonna pry out is the microphone down here. Okay, let me try and hold this in, in view. I can't see. Um, we're gonna go over to the top here. Okay, it's. It's hard to see what I'm doing and have it in camera because it's at different angles. But we're going to get underneath the microphone connector there. Okay, and we're going to lift that up. Okay, just like this. Get under there and pop that out. And there we go. All right, so here you can see. <clears throat> this is what it looks like now. Okay, microphone, the sensors, the camera, and that. We'll set that aside. All right, then we can go ahead and transfer this metal plate over if we want. <clears throat> okay, oops, I left my phone charging. It's gonna overheat, let me turn that off. Okay, so we're gonna switch back over to the PH0 or JS0 screwdriver. We're gonna remove the screw from the top side here, okay? It's kind of in an awkward position, but let's go ahead and remove that. There we go. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and remove the three screws on each side, so six in total. Okay. So remove that. Remove this. Okay, and remove this. Oops. And then we're gonna remove the three from here as well this one, this one, all right, and the third one down here. All right, now that we got all those screws out, 
we are going to lift the metal plate up. Okay. Come on. There we go. All right. And we're going to transfer this one over because this has um, this thermal sticker stuff. All right. So that's good. Let's go ahead and set the other screen aside. I'm going to put it away. Okay. Give me a second. that aside let's go ahead and work on this one so we're going to take the metal plate from this one out okay so let's get the three screws out from this one okay this one there we go Get the three, well, I guess technically four because we gotta get the one up here again. So there's the one up there. Okay. And we got the three going down the side here. Okay. This one. There we go. All right, now that we got all of those, let's go ahead and remove this metal plate. Okay, and we're gonna swap it back over with this one. Okay, get that lined up. Okay. And then usually what I like to do to get these um, screws all lined up, I'll just loosely fit them first so you won't tighten them down right away. Okay, we'll get this screw in. Okay, and we're just loosely fitting it, only screwing it in a few times to get it to stay. Okay. Alright, get that one. Alright, turn to the other side, and put these screws back in. Come on, come in right. No. Last one. All right, let's get the one at the top. And we can go ahead and tighten on all those screws. Let's kind of have to hold it at a weird, awkward position. All right, there we go. Make sure it's tightened in. All right, then for each of these, you want to make sure you're kind of pinching the two layers together so that they're close. You don't want to pinch too hard, though. Okay, you don't want to put too much pressure and damage the screen. All right, same thing with the other three here. Not good. And the last screw down here. Okay. Doesn't matter which one you put first. You can put the um, home button or you can put the sensors. I'm going to put the home button first. So for this, you want to push this back into here and make sure it sits behind that little piece, that plastic piece there. Okay, we're going to take the home button. All right, we're going to push this protective layer through so that we can kind of make sure the home button lines up right. So we're going to get that on top. Get that lined up from both sides. Okay, make sure it's flush. Then go ahead and put the protective layer back. You want to get this part lined up with those little raised dimples. Okay, this piece popped back up, so you want to make sure to make it go back down. All right, Ooh, keeps wanting to pop back up, so make sure that stays down. And then we're going to get this cable, put it on top, click that into place. Good. All right, and then we'll get the metal plate and put that back on top. All right, get the two screws. 
loosely fit it. Get the second one and we can go ahead and tighten that down just like that and then tighten this one down. There we go. So now we got those two tightened into place. All right, now we need to get the sensors back in. So we're going to pop off this little blue piece here. This is the adhesive um, cover just to keep it from sticking to other things. Come on, why can I get under there? Okay, I'm going to use the little flathead screwdriver because I can't get under that blue tab. There we go. All right. Lift that up and toss that. Okay, now we're going to get the sensors back in. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. It's going to be hard to show this. So you want to get the dimple from here lined up first. That makes it easiest. Okay. So just like this, line it up and stick that down. Good. All right. Then we're going to flip this over. Get these sensors lined up. Okay. All right, make sure you get them all into place. Can be a little tricky. All right, come on, stay in place. You wanna take your time with this, make sure um, you don't accidentally damage these. These, the sensors really need to go in flush. Okay, there we go. You'll know because when you feel here, it's completely flush. Then we can go ahead and slide the speaker into place. Okay. And get that in on top. Okay. Make sure it lines up right. So the speaker, there's a little rubber piece that it goes into and you'll know it's right because then you can't move the speaker around much after it's in there. All right. Then we're going to get the camera lens back in. And make sure the little dimples line up here for the speaker. Sorry. All right, there we go. And then we'll get this. Get that in place on top. And make sure the dimples come all the way through these little, sorry, those two little holes there. Okay. I'm going to hold this down again. Let's go ahead and get those screws in. All right. We're going to loosely fit it first again, just to make sure everything lines up. Okay, get the third screw. And we can go ahead and tighten it all down now. Okay, tighten that down. Tighten that down. Tighten that down. All right, good. Double check, make sure the little dimples are coming through. Oops, sorry, you'll know because if you kind of hit it with your fingernail, your fingernail will stop there. Okay, so we got that. Next thing, we're going to try and put this adhesive layer back around. It's not too important, but if you can, it's nice to have it. So let's go ahead and try and get this back into place. So what we're going to do, we're going to peel this off. We're going to separate this. Okay. Just like that. You got this layer here. All right. You want to line up the the camera lens here and everything. Okay. Can be a little bit tricky. Um, it's awkward because I'm doing it at a sideways angle here for you guys to see. So let's see. Hopefully I can get this done properly. So I like to kind of start with one corner, one side over here to kind of see what I'm doing. All right, and once you kind of get it, you can slowly lower the other edges down. Okay, like that. and then we'll get the other edges down here. All right, and hopefully, uh oh, it doesn't look like it's lining up right. I don't think this is going to work. Hopefully it didn't stick down too hard because then it's going to be done. Come on, let go. Okay. Gotta line this up again. Again, this is pretty tricky to do. Be 
usually a lot of times I'll get frustrated with this and give up. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get this in. Especially when I'm trying to like record it. I might have to do it off camera. Just because I can't get good angles if I'm trying to get it recorded. Okay. Uh oh, the adhesive here is already messed up, so I don't think it's going to work. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if we can get it stuck down right. It doesn't look like it. I think it already got messed up. So we're probably not going to be able to put this adhesive in. Let's try and peel this up now. Stay seated, please. A lot of times it doesn't stick down right either. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to roll the blue part back here. You can see it's kind of getting lumpy, so I don't know if this is going to work right. We might have to remove it. All right, so I like to roll it like this, so it pulls it. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not going to work. It peeled itself up. Okay, we're not going to put the adhesive. Let's go ahead and peel that up. Yeah, because if we leave that, that's going to actually cause more problems than good, more harm than good. So let's peel this out. All right. Sorry, guys, that this didn't work out the way I wanted to. But just so you know, again, this adhesive isn't really needed. Okay, let's go ahead and get this off. And also, if you get your screen replaced... Um, not on this model, but other models. Um, you want to be very careful because most of the time the water resistance is not going to be very good. And if you get it wet, you're going to end up having problems. So keep that in mind. All right. Anyways, so we're giving up on the adhesive strips. Let's go ahead now and get the screen back in. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and clip all these on. And you want to make sure it's lined up right, and then just press down, clip it into place. Okay, this one, line it up, click it down, good. Okay, this one, line it up. Can be a bit tricky. Again, you want to take your time. Make sure it's lined up. Sometimes also helps to look at it from the side here, so you can kind of see where the connector is. It's hard to do this while recording because I don't get the right angles and the right lighting for myself and then for you guys. So, okay. Come on. Click that in. Good. There we go. All right. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to get the metal plate back in. All right. And let's get the lower screws in first so that it holds it into place. Just like that. And grab this one. Just like that. All right. Now we got those two. Let's go ahead and tighten those down. The middle one. Alright, get that screw in. Come on. There we go, tighten that down. Two more. This one, tighten that down. All right, and the last one for this. Tighten that down. All right, now what we want to do is reconnect the battery. Just get it lined up and click it into place. Let's go ahead and make sure it turns on. All right, as you can see, we have the two-tone color now. You can see screen is lighting up, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and put the battery metal plate back on okay so get that into place all right get 
the screw. Line that up and get this in. Good. Get the other one. Line that up and get that in. All right. Now for the final part, what you're gonna do, you wanna make sure to slide this in. Oh, what is this doing? Oh, I think I was doing emergency mode. Okay, so you wanna slide the top part in, so you wanna pull it back slightly, okay? And then slide it up into place. All right, now that you got that in, you're gonna hold the center up slightly, and we're gonna push the bottom part in, okay? And what you'll see is you'll have the center bowed up like that. That's what you want. That's how you know everything's lined up right. And then you can go ahead and push that in and push that in. And there we go. Now the screen will hold itself into place. We just gotta now put back the Pentalobe um, 0.8 or P2 screws. And we're good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's pretty much all there is. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Let's peel this off. And here you can see you have a nice um, dual color screen. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Let's drop this spike.